Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming for you guys, episode number one of this new series called FIFA Wheel of Fortune. So, as you guys will probably see, I'll explain to you guys the rules quickly. It's where we're going to have uh, three different wheels which will decide different things for our squad. So, we're going to be making different squads, and a Wheel of Fortune is where you have different factors on the wheel, and whichever one it lands on, that's the one which we'll choose. So, the first wheel, guys, will decide our nationality, and as you can see, we've got quite a few nationalities up on screen. Uh, predominantly, the main the, the top nine nationalities and then we got a few other ones uh, as you can see we got Korea which is going to be quite interesting if we had to make a 400k Korea team but uh, as you can see Sweden we've got a few different other nationalities which we'll go through a bit later but the first team guys will land on Holland and that's the team we will choose for the first episode then guys the next factor we'll move on to is going to be the price of the team and this is the overall price and this is on PS3 guys so the first episode uh, will be the maximum I think 400,000 coins so uh, this is my brother's in charge of the, all this one at the moment. So as you can see, it lands on 300,000 coins. So at the moment, Netherlands, 300,000 coins. And then finally, we have to choose a formation. So the third wheel will decide the formation. And you guys can give this a go at home as well if you'd like to try out this, uh, how it goes. Or just try out some of the teams and the players because it is going to be really fun. It's very creative. And I feel this is very unique as well. So it's going to be a 4 triple 2 So we're going to go and get into making the squad right now. And you guys will also get to see a lot of gameplay from this series. So as you can see, the first thing we're going to start off with is the strikers up front. Just put in Netherlands quickly and also the formation. Although you guys will get to see everything else in the club. Uh, but as you can see, the first player is going to be Inform Huntler. Show you guys his price quickly is uh, 29,750 coins. Got three star skill, four star weak foot. Uh, alongside him, we're going to have Robin Van Persie for, I think it was 19,250. Uh, four star skill, four star weak foot, 89 shooting, which is deadly. Our right ascent attack in mid is going to be Raphael van der Vaart in form for 47,500 coins, which is a very good player, guys. I put him on that side. Well, actually, my brother put him on that side because he's left footed. He gets a great long shot into the far post. Next on the other side, going to be Wesley Schneider for 1,200 and it's pretty much just using the, the weak foot and the strong foot uh, in, in pretty much in this formation. Then we're going to have none other than Jonathan de Guzman in form as our center, uh, center defensive mid and Strootman team of the season for 63,500 coins. Now we're going to move on to the defense guys. You're going to get to see some really good players and I like this team a lot. I'd say one of the strong factors which I saw from when my brother was playing with this team was that the players are just unbelievable. They've got some really strong pace in the defense and midfield and then at the same time you got some really good power and long shots in this team and pretty much almost everyone on that team is a specialist free kick taker. So for those of you guys who like long shots, uh, free kicks, by all means you guys are going to enjoy this the absolute most for this certain Netherlands team. But we got Gregory Van der Wiel for 900 coins, and uh, he's also quite quick. I think he's got around 85 pace. And then our goalkeeper over there is going to be the team of the season goalkeeper from Ajax. So that's the team, guys. Uh, and as you can see there, perfect 999 chemistry. But we'll start off with Strootman, guys. He's a really quality player for our team of the season card. I want to try him out on Xbox as well. Uh, as you guys probably saw there, his ball control is unbelievable. It is 93 ball control, which means he'll get in and out of players if you guys are pretty much holding those tactical dribbling. And he'll finish off anything. He's really good. He's got 99 shot power, which makes him very deadly. And you guys are going to get to see a nice free kick with him over here. He does have 91 free kick accuracy, and that one just bouncing off the goal keeper's legs along the way in and also I think it's 92 curve which makes him very good and he's also got those amazing finesse shots not just the power shots he's an all-round great center midfielder and also you guys can put him as a center attacking midfielder if you guys choose to uh, I'd say he plays better ever as a defensive midfielder that's why we put him over there but we're going to move on to uh, Huntala and Huntala guys was an unbelievable player this uh, informed card has got 99 finishing which makes him very deadly he does only have however three star skill and four star weak foot so I'd say that's maybe a downfall on his side but uh, what 99 finishing you can pretty much finish a ball from anywhere and that's just the amazing thing about him you guys are going to see Schneider look at this ball control from him as well this team was just unbelievable trying them out they just destroyed my opponents and as you can see Schneider snatching the ball back from the initial start of play and going to finish you off very nicely over there keepers pretty much had no chance against him he is from Galatasaray you can guys go at the uh, Inter Milan version it's whichever guys one you'd like as you can see Robin Van Persie 
but Robin Van Persie, not the fastest of players, but he does have a great shot, and keepers just don't tend to be able to get a hand to it. And him and uh, Huntelaar really complement each other up front, as both Dutch players don't have that much pace, but they do use those passes off one another. And you guys will see a bit of a nice one-two play to Van Persie, and he's just going to chip the keeper with his weak foot and put it in the back of the net. So Van Persie, guys, also 91 finishing. All these players pretty much have some really high finishing stats, which makes it very exciting to use, because you can just pretty much smack the ball in from anywhere, and it will find the back of the net. Look at that from Huntelaar. Very great touch to prevent the keeper from grabbing hold of it and finish it off with a little bit of a chip. So definitely, guys, if you also haven't tried out uh, Huntelaar's power shots, uh, they're 92 power shots. So you can imagine he, he can knock those things in and uh, just um, unbelievable power. Van der Vaart as well. He's also got some great foot. He's also got a very deadly left foot, which makes him very useful. And you can see here Van Persie extending a leg out to go and get that ball into the back of the net. So, we're going to also have a few more of these episodes out, guys. It's probably going to be once a week, unless you guys would like to see this maybe twice or three times a week. Then we can do that. The Journey Series will be out tomorrow, guys. And we could get a double or a triple upload, depending on what you guys think. So, let me know, guys, about that. But as you can see, Van Persie just finishing them off. He just did an unbelievable job. The ball always used to hit either the top of the net or just get into the net either way. And keepers just used to get a hand to it and it used to find its way into the back of the net. As you can see, a little bit of one-two play again. These two guys were just uh, great partners up front, and Van Persie just finds the back of the net all the time. He's a quality player, and I just say he's a very fun player to use in this game. But... Guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here on this final goal with Van Persie staying on side and chipping the keeper. If you guys have enjoyed this, please do drop it a like and subscribe, guys. And this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys next episode.